audience today an A+. You're so loud, I love it! Give it to me again! away on a Monday. Okay, this is going to, you're going to love this as well, because you might want to make this tonight, okay? Randy Feltus is here. So my enthusiasm for him. And he's making a broccoli bucatini uh, dish with pistachios. So my question is, like, what's bucatini? Okay. Well, it sounds cool. It does. It start, let's start with that. It sounds cool. I like that. It's kind of like it's kind of like spaghetti. You've had a relationship with spaghetti. You love yes. spaghetti. Spaghetti's it, good. Spaghetti goes with everything you need to done. And then one day you go to Spaghetti's house for dinner, and you meet Spaghetti's older sister, <laughs> who's like a little She's bit really more hot. sophisticated, a little bit more mature. And okay. all of a sudden you're like, who's Spaghetti? I'm calling up Bucatini. <laughs> so Bucatini okay. is essentially looks a lot like spaghetti, but it's got a hole in the middle. Oh, right. And what that does is is a number of things. It just kind of makes it a little bit more palatable. Yeah. It's kind of cool when you're teaching your five-year-old how not to slurp his spaghetti because all of a sudden it doesn't work. He's sucking on it and you got to twirl it, right? It's, like, it's more like a straw. And it also doubles. Oh, it's a little straw. As a straw, oh, right? So there you go. Perfect. So it's probably, is it going to be a little bit lighter or is it going to be more dense? Yeah, no, it's a little bit lighter. It's a bit lighter because yeah, there's the hole, the air in the middle. Normally you kind of do a more sophisticated sauce with it too because you're doing a sophisticated noodle. Okay. You wouldn't do like a broccoli pistachio pasta with spaghetti. That just would be wrong. Probably not, yeah. No. So here's what we're going to start sense. with. We are going to start with our broccoli, our main dish. You know, I wanted to get a little bit more fresh. It's this kind of year. We're getting away from the creams and the butters and that kind of stuff. Yeah. So we're basically going to make a pistachio, or not a pistachio, a pistachio-based pesto with broccoli. Mmm. Right? Okay. So, you know, summer's coming. i got to get my bikini out, my speedo, <laughs> and I'm thinking about those things, and i got to lighten things up. So throw a couple heads of, of broccoli right into your water, first things first. And we're going to let that poach for about a minute. That's all. All right. In the meantime, we're going to get our sauce kind of started. So schlots, garlic. I love that you put the whole broccoli in, though. You put Just the stock in the whole in thing. Just throw it in there. It's fine. Yeah, right? make it easy. And then some chilies, mm -hmm. right? Because we always need that kind of stuff. And I know I said I was going to get away from the butter, but it's broccoli. Just so a little bit. Get back in there. Get in there, right? Just a little bit. There's no creams, right? Yeah. So there we go. We kind of have that toasting down. And what we're going to do, just to kind of lighten things up, when this gets a little bit caramelized, we're going to hit it with some white wine. Oh, yeah. But we need to build flavors. So whenever you're trying to cheat on, like, fat and things like that, yep. always, like, zest of, of uh, any kind of fruit really goes a long way. So a little bit of lime zest, and then a little bit of lime juice. That's actually a really good tip, because I think, for me, I like, I like cheats that fool my brain into feeling like I'm maybe eating more calories than I am. Because yeah. it does, it makes you feel more full. Well, you want the flavor, but you just you really the might not all want the, the fat, right? Exactly. So then, yep. and in we go, straight up. No, I hope we plug this. this thing in. I did plug it in, you but did? you know what? We always have this thing on TV. Yeah, we do. You and I, we get there and we're like, oh, for some reason, I know it's not going. But I, I feel think like we'll it wouldn't there. be a good segment if everything worked, though. That'd be so boring. No. <laughs> the best segments we've done is when we mess things up. <laughs> yeah. Stay tuned up next. <laughs> Here we go. Tracy screws up another recipe. <laughs> no, it's gonna be gold. So here we go. We're gonna add a little bit because because we're gonna have to kind of make a play on pesto, just a yep. touch of olive oil. But you know, no. Said that was bad for you. That's really bad for you. Mm -hmm. And then, you ready for this? I'm ready for it. <gasps> it works! See that? Yay! And we just want to get it to the point where it's not pureed, but yeah. kind of just like riced. Just pull it off there, give it just a Just a little bit chunky. The chunks are good. Yeah, I like, I like the chunks. It's going to kind of go with our pasta. So there we go. That's good enough. What do you think? Yeah, that's good. So do we? So it's okay if you put it in and it smells broccoli-ish. Isn't that nice? You know that broccoli smell? <laughs> um, it smells like the garden. Yeah, it smells a little bit like, you know. Broccoli, I like the taste of broccoli, but it can mm -hmm. have that cauliflower type smell. Oh, that you know? smell you're you talking about. That? Well, that's where the white wine and the lime comes in. That smell. Yeah. Well, we're going to cover that up. We're going to cover that up. Okay. So we have a little bit of that. And then what I need you to do, Tracy? Yes. Parmesan. You right. want it in there? Right, throw it right in you're there. happy about that. I hear them. Yeah. See? So, oh, yeah, because you're baby. right, when you do puree, like the vegetables, there's kind of that weird little smell coming off there. So we don't yeah. need that. And then a little bit of, where'd the pepper go? Right in front of you, Trace. Oh, yeah. Give me a squeezy squeeze there. Yep. Now, here's your base. This is it. It's that simple. 
and it looks pretty healthy. It does look right? healthy. It looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks great. We're going to get our bucatini, which I've already blanched off, and it goes right into the broccoli water as well. Yeah, you're so already making me off. fall in love with that noodle. See? Yeah, it looks it's good. It's kind of funky. It and is. You can give a bitter, bit of a bigger portion, too, because it isn't so dense. Mm -hmm. When you're eating it, you already feel lighter. You feel like, you know what, where's that bikini? I yeah. can get into that thing, you know? Try it on to tonight. Move over the beach. Now, <laughs> always add just a bit of pasta water in there that's kind of tight and tasty. Uh -huh. And then we're just going to give it a little toss. Nice, all in one right. pot, which but is awesome. you know awesome. what I need, Trace? What do you need? A little bit more Parmesan, you know? Okay, you got it. Where do we cut out the I cream? See, I so might have skimped a little. So let's put a little bit more of this good stuff on there. Now, you ready for this? Keep it really fresh, fresh mint. Mm-hmm. So get rid of the basil, put the mint in, the spring's coming. Now, that's gonna smell like buttery broccoli Parmesan. That looks good. Pepper. Now, I remember you saying there was a pistachio in this recipe. Yeah, you're right. You see it up top there in the blue container. Okay. Did you toast the pistachio? I did toast it earlier. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to do is just going to top that off. Very oh, nice. That's right. See, a nice light, light pasta dish, which is nice, that you can have this time of year with a little bit of crunch. What do you think of that? Cityline.ca for this amazing recipe. Give it up for Chef Randy. A little Randy bit more Dutton. cheese, please. Look at that, we wow. just destroyed that pasta. Nice job.